did Australia manage to take a substantial lead in the opening day of the only test against South Africa in Perth? Oh, you bet they did. And what a day it was, filled with highs and lows, and a few twists in between. Let's delve right into the action. Australian captain Alyssa Healy, in her maiden test match leading the team on home soil, was the star of the day. She fell just one run short of a century, getting a leading edge back to spinner Delmi Tucker. But not before she had done significant damage, helping Australia gain a lead of 175 runs over South Africa. The day wasn't without its moments of tension for the Aussies, though. A stunning new ball burst from Masabata class reduced the hosts to 3 for 12. But then, Beth Mooney and Healy stepped up, putting together a brilliant 155-run partnership. After Mooney's dismissal, Annabelle Sutherland joined Healy, adding another 82 runs to the tally, putting the Aussies in a commanding position. The South African team had a day to forget. They were bowled out for just 76, their lowest innings score in their 14 test history. The highlight of the Australian bowling attack was Darcy Brown, who took five wickets for just 21 runs. The Proteas woes started early. Their most experienced player, Marizan Cap, was too sick to play. The inexperienced Proteas, with four test debutants in their lineup, were then subjected to a ruthless Australian attack. Annika Bosch, Laura Wolvard, Tasman Brits and Delmi Tucker all fell for single-digit scores, leaving the tourists reeling at 4 for 33. Despite a bit of resistance from Sunalus, who made 26, the South African innings tumbled quickly. Nadine de Klerk, Sinalo Jafta and Chloe Tryon all fell in quick succession. The last wicket partnership between debutante bowlers Klaas and Ayanda Hlubi added 19 runs, but it was too little too late. Wrapping up the day, Australia reached stumps at 5 for 251, a lead of 175 runs over South Africa. Healy's 99, along with Mooney's 78, and Sutherland's unbeaten 54, were the highlights of the day. In summary, it was a day that belonged to Australia. The South Africans will need to regroup and come back strong if they are to challenge the Aussies in the remaining days of the test. Stay tuned for more action-packed cricket. This is just the beginning of what promises to be an exciting test match.